Hello, how are you? In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a very interesting touch tool called Violox. As the name suggests, this is a platform in which you can combine videos and dialogues. This tool is perfect to engage students in meaningful conversations, and uh, it can be the perfect way to introduce a topic, making students aware of the theme to be discussed. So let's start. First, I'm going to type the name of the website. So uh, you write dialogues.com. So once you access the website, you can see some pictures like this one, which is a summary of what, uh, what the website is about. As you can see here, there is uh, videos plus dialogues, and that's pretty much what the website is about. And here on the left side of the website, you can see the stages or the step you have to follow to create a dialogue. So the first thing you have to do is to create a video. Then you have to invite people to uh, participate in the discussion. And then you can interact with them, like uh, adding comments, making surveys and questions. And finally, you can share the video uh, in different uh, platforms like Edmodo or whatever blog you want to use. So once you got a general idea of what the website is about, you have to sign up. So let's move there. So I will click in this button, sign up. And there you have to um, complete the fields that are required. So you have to type your name, I will write my name, then your last name, the username, then you have to write your email and a password. Uh, you have to retype the password as well. And then there are some uh, fields that are not mandatory, but you can complete it if you want. Like here you have to select the kind of um, like education, design, industry, accountancy, the purpose of what the biology is about. You can write the institution also and the position. This is not um, mandatory fields. And then you have to write the CAPTCHA. So you have to write the name of, sorry, the numbers that the image show. And then you have to put create an eLab account. Once you press this button, an email, you will receive an email to your um, email account to activate uh, your Vialogs account. Okay, so now it's time to log in. So you press here and you write your email and your password. So you put login and it's time to uh, create your own Vialog. So now that you have an account of the website, you can start creating your own dialogue. So you only have to press here in this icon where it says create. So you press there. And there you have three options of how to upload a video. So the first option here is to use a video of your uh, computer. So you press here and browse. You see? And you can upload a video from your computer. You select this button, select file. So you press there, it will take some time. And you choose the video you want to upload. For instance, I will take this one. Okay. So and here is when the website starts to process the video to be uploaded. I won't use this option. So we'll cancel it. Because I'm going to choose another one. I will choose this option, the third one, where you have to uh, copy the link of the video you want to upload. You can use videos from platforms such as YouTube or Vimeo. And well, this is what I'm going to do. So uh, this is a video I want to upload. I'm going to just copy the link and paste it here, you know. 
and then I just going to press on attach. As you can see, this is the video I'm going to upload. It's about bullying, okay? On the right side, you have the fields that you have to complete. You have to give a title to the video. In this case, I will write bullying. So here you are. And you can also write a short description about um, the, your dialogue, okay? You can write what is the purpose of this video, or you can add a question that the user have to answer. Um, well, this is what I'm going to write. Hello, how are you? I'm sharing this video to introduce the topic of bullying. As you all know, this is one of the major problems schools have to deal with nowadays. I would like to focus the discussion on the following question. What do you think about school authorities should do in case of bullying? This is the main purpose of the video. Uh, people to, ask, uh, to answer that question so we can start interacting and, you know, making a sort of threat about uh, this topic. So once you put the description, you can choose uh, this uh, dialogue to be public or selective. Selective means uh, private. In this case, I'm going to make a public video because I want um, people all over the world to comment on the video. But if you choose the, uh, the option selective, you can type the name of the users you want to comment this video. Um, or the participants, you know. Um, as I told you, I'm going to use the option, the option public. And then I will put create a dialogue. Once you press here on create a dialogue, this is what is going to happen. As you can see, on the left side you have the video. On the and uh, below the video you can use you can add questions you know you can put a multiple choice questions or any kind of questions you want uh, you can add uh, a poll too uh, I asked um, I added a poll in which people have to answer if they've been victim victims of uh, bullying so you can put the options here and then you can add another one or you can make if you make another question you can make uh, you can put more choices more options to choose you know but um, as you can see here is the poll the pool sorry have you been victim of bullying and people have to answer yes or no here you have the video uh, sadly as I created this video uh, not so long ago there are not many comments but uh, the idea is that people start interacting and making opinions and giving opinions about the topic. Here is another video that had many, that had many replies. Um, as you can see, people start interacting, you know, and giving their own opinion. And, you know, this is the whole uh, point of this uh, platform, you know, people to interact with each other, um, you know, and you know, given their own opinion about the topic. Finally, we're going to see, uh, sorry, the last option, the last thing you have to do is to share the video. So you press here and you have the link to share the video on any platform you want, like Edmodo or any blog that you want to share it. And here also you have the DMBit the option where you can paste the video too. Well, this is it. I hope you like this website and you can use it to introduce topics in the future. I think it's really interesting and I think you will use it because uh, it's really fun and easy and students will love it. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.